Hey guys, guess who's back in the building? Of course, it's your girl cooking with Tammy and I'm back with another great recipe. Today we're gonna to be making a delicious shrimp creole, guys. But just not any shrimp creole, we're gonna be using andouille sausages as well. And with all of that being said, let's introduce these ingredients and get to cooking. First one up, as you can see, is our sliced andouille sausages. And in the background, we have our jumbo shrimp. Our shrimp has been washed, cleaned, pat dried, deveined, and ready to go. One medium onion, fresh chopped parsley, bay leaves, bell peppers, both red and green. We also have some green onions, along with celery that's been diced, our butter, and we also have our okros. We also have a can of fire roasted tomatoes. I love fire roasted tomatoes because they give that delicious element to all of our recipes. We also have, let's see, our stock we have chicken stock along with a little shrimp stock incorporated to give us the best flavors along with our hot sauce dry thyme minced garlic if you have fresh garlic chop it on up incorporate that as well we also have some worcestershire sauce black pepper white pepper cajun seasoning creole seasoning and cayenne pepper with all of that being said let's get to cooking while we were introducing our ingredients our pot is hot and ready to go all right we are going to start off with adding some oil. You hear that sizzle? Mm hmm. And we're going to add our sausages. We're going to get in there with our spatula, lay these sausages down flat because we want that full surface contact. We want to brown these sausages up really quickly. This process right here should take about two to three minutes. Once we're done, we're going to flip them on over, allow the sausages to brown on the other side as well. In the meanwhile, I'm going to incorporate some spinach rice with my delicious shrimp and sausage creole. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering, how is Tammy going to make spinach rice with her sausage and shrimp creole and not share it with us? <laughs> well, since sharing is caring, I guess I better get to sharing. As you remember from my how to cook rice video, if you're going to be using three cups of rice, we're going to need to double that water. So we're going to need six cups of water. Same thing, if you're using two cups of rice, we're going to need four cups of water. And we're going to add our rice, we're going to get that fresh spinach, we're going to rinse it on off, chop it on up, add it to the pot the same time you add the rice. Give it a quick stir, add a pinch of salt, along with a small amount of diced onions. And that's it. If you're using parboiled rice, you're going to allow it to cook for about 20 minutes. And bam, spinach rice is done. That's it, guys. Now that we've removed our sausages, we're going to remove this pan. And we're going to rinse it on out. Psych! <laughs> We're not going to do anything of that nature. What we're going to do is we're going to keep this pan on the stove top. And yeah, you see those little bits right there? We're going to keep whatever is in this pan for the extra added flavor. We're going to start off with adding our onions. We're going to go in there. We're going to mix it on up really good. And once we're done, we're going to add about two tablespoons, which is half the amount of butter. Combine it really good. Mix it on up. We're also gonna add our bell peppers, both red and green. If you don't have green or red bell peppers, you can always sub with orange or yellow bell peppers. Make sure you stir it up really good. We're gonna add our diced celery and we now have our holy trinity, which includes our bell peppers, onions, and celery. For those of us wondering, Holy Trinity is a term used in Cajun and Creole cooking. Make sure you stir it up really good. Now will be the perfect time to add in the green onions. And we're going to allow it to saute for about 30 seconds to one minute. That should give it enough time to soften up just a bit. Get those onions nice and translucent. And we're going to give it some time to do what it do. And we're going to check on it in a second. In the meanwhile, let's check on our rice. And as you can see, the rice is looking perfect so far. We're going to allow the rice to cook for an additional 10 minutes, and that should be it. We're going to make a little section within our veggies. And we are going to add our minced garlic. Allow that garlic to toast on up and saute for just a bit. 
This part should take about 15 to 30 seconds. And once everything becomes nice and aromatic, we're going to combine both the veggies along with the garlic. Give it about 20 seconds more to break down just a bit. Going to go ahead and add our other ingredients in about 2.5 seconds. Now that everything has broken down perfectly, we're going to add our canned tomatoes. I'm also going to add some extra tomatoes because I had a ton of tomatoes in the fridge and I'm like, you know something, now will be the perfect time to use some of those extra tomatoes for this recipe. Of course, if you don't have any extra tomatoes, not a problem whatsoever. Just add the can of diced tomatoes and you should be good to go. Let me tell you guys, the presentation can't even compare to the aroma. Yes, it looks absolutely beautiful, but the aroma is everything right now. It smells absolutely delicious we are going to add our broth if you want to add seafood stock you can if you want to add chicken stock you can you can also add veggie stock however i find that if you add chicken stock along with the seafood stock it brings out the flavor even more if you don't have stock on hand you can always use bouillon bouillon powder whether it be seafood or chicken or even both i tend to gravitate towards the bouillon powder a little bit more because it packs more of a flavorful punch we're going to add our bay leaves followed by our Worcestershire sauce. Yes, we're gonna add our saucy sauce. We're also gonna add our black pepper, white pepper, cayenne pepper, and dried thyme. Now I know it's a lot of pepper going on here. If you don't want a spicy shrimp or sausage creole, all you gotta do is scale back when it comes to adding the cayenne, the black pepper, along with the white pepper. We also have some leftover veggies on the cutting board, some chopped up parsley. Of course, we're gonna incorporate that in there as well. Also, if you find that the acidity contrast is a little bit strong, you wanna add just a pinch of sugar to counteract the acidity. Allow it to come to a slow simmer. In the meanwhile, we are gonna work on checking on our rice. Our rice is nice and fluffy, it's not dried out, and it's not soggy. It's perfect. So we're gonna turn the stove top off and our rice is done. Depending on your heat level, you can add some hot sauce or you can add some more cayenne pepper. But the great thing about the hot sauce, is not gonna make it spicy or anything. The vinegar that's in the hot sauce is gonna tie everything together. But like I said, if you wanna make it hot, add you some scotch bonnet peppers, that would do you just fine. Or even some cayenne pepper, whatever your preference is, and it'll be smoking hot. In the meantime, we are going to prep our okras. Yes, what I like to do is I like to remove the top and the bottom, so not necessary. If you want to add the whole thing in there, you definitely can. What size do I chop it up? Totally your preference. If you want to take off the top, let's see, and literally cut it in half, you can. It's totally up to you and whoever is eating it. No fuss, no worry, just get the job done. Or if you're simply trying to spread it on out and stretch it, you get a little bit more than what it is. Of course, you're going to cut it even smaller. It's all about that presentation and the amount that you're working with. This is a big guy right here, so we're probably going to cut him up into fours or maybe fives. <laughs> And that is it. Once we're done, we're going to check on our shrimp creole and see what's popping. Everything is looking good so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate those delicious and dewy fried sausages back to the pot. Don't tell me you guys forgot about the sausages, all right? Mix the one up. Mm -hmm. The flavors in this pot is going to be unparalleled. Trust me. It's going to be so delicious. Cover it one down. Allow it to reduce just a little bit more. Let's check on everything and see what's going on. Woo! Look at that. At this time, we are going to add our shrimp. Mmm, mmm. -hmm. And we are going to add our okras to the mix. Get those shrimp submerged because we want it to cook through thoroughly. Mm -hmm. The 
we're going to add our remaining tablespoon and a half of butter. The butter is going to give it that nice creamy flavor. And we're going to cover it on down and let it cook all the way through. Check it on out guys, our shrimp is perfectly cooked. As you can see, the color has changed. The shrimp also curls up. Our okra, perfect. Still intact, but nice and tender. And we're gonna plate this on out guys, so continue watching so we can serve it on up. We're gonna add some of our delicious shrimp and sausage Creole to our plate. Mm -hmm. Check it on out guys, so I have to tell you, no other better way to celebrate the not only the holiday but winter for those of us who live in the cold climate this right here would definitely do it absolutely superb now here's the thing guys go in there take out if you're using fresh thyme don't forget to remove those thyme leaves or not the thyme leaves but the thyme stems along with the bay leaves don't leave it on in there because they're not chewable <laughs> all right we're just going to clean it on up just a bit Make it look nice and presentable. Tammy is all about that presentation, not only great taste. Keeping that food nice and clean along with the presentation. We're going to get in there and we're going to get our bowl one out of there. Mm -hmm. And our delicious meal is ready to be served. As always guys, I'm your girl cooking with Tammy. Definitely continue to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And give this recipe a try. Tell me what you think. And I will catch up with you guys later. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.